Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be setting up DaVinci's Resolve on Fedora 40. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to paste this in. This is going to install pretty much libx crypt compact, which is needed. It's going to install libcurl, libcurl devil, and mesolibglu. We're also going to need to put this at the end of it to allow uh libcurl to replace another dependency that is being used which is libcurl compact because we need the real thing so when we hit enter you can see i already have that installed but you will install all this so what's next to do well it's pretty simple i already have uh as you can see a version of you know davinci's resolve right there i'm actually gonna just put that there and I'm going to exit out of there. I will, of course, be maximizing this so you can see. What we need to do is we need to do what's called a skip package check. And that's because they're using an outdated version of Zlib. And it tends to cause a problem. So that will open up the installer. Just like this. We're going to click that. We're going to hit next. I'm going to hit agree. And it's going to flow. Like that and once this is finished installing we're gonna have to move a couple of uh, of you know libraries around because again davinci's resolve ships with outdated libraries which would could cause problems starting up this is for nvidia users only by the way i should have mentioned that at the beginning because with mesa you're gonna need to deal with raw uh, you're gonna need to deal with this rock m okay and I don't have an NVIDIA card. I don't have an AMD card to be able to use that with you, all right? So I'm going to do this. We're going to hit clear. And first, we are going to go here. Then we're going to paste this. So what it's doing is it's taking admin's permissions. It's making a directory into the libs, and it's going to make the directory called disable libraries. Okay. Uh, next, it's going to take the G, the lib, G lib, you know, libraries, and it's going to move it. We're also going to be taking these libraries, so libgo, and we're going to be moving those in. We're going to be taking these, which is lib module, and by the way, this, this allows it to search for everything that starts with this, and we're going to move it in. And then... We're pretty much going to boot it up, and I'm going to show you that it does work. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to Resolve. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm actually going to put OBS next to it. I'm going to click it, and there we go. As you can see, there's the little startup screen. We can skip and start now, and it should start to boot up. So I did this with Resolve 19, but this is also needed for 18 and 17. Now, DaVinci Resolve, for some reason, comes with those outdated libs just to sort of be universally compatible, but it ends up causing problems on actual good distros like Arch Linux and Fedora and even Ubuntu sometimes. They, for some reason, decided to develop this for CentOS, which was honestly ridiculous, as no one uses CentOS who's like, a real video editor i'm sorry but if you do that you're limiting yourself and your performance anyway as you can see we're in and now we're going to be all opt optimizing the davinci neural engines so we hit optimize this is if you have an rtx card only all right the new neural engines allow for a lot of good things it's also gonna take a quit of performance at while doing this at least a little bit so there you go. DaVinci Resolve is installed. It is working for you on Fedora 40. I hope if you have any issues, well, you probably did something wrong because I have tested this on my laptop. Others have tested this for me and this just works. Again, for NVIDIA cards only for AMD, uh, this is still needed, but to get your GPU to work with DaVinci's Resolve, that's another thing that I can't do. So you're going to have to look elsewhere for that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe, like the video, share the video, and comment below if this works. Because, well, telling other people that it does work helps the video get around more and helps pretty much me out. So thank you.